हेलो एवरी वन ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम मनीपाल हॉस्पिटल बानेर पुणे आई एम डॉक्टर करण चंचलानी आई एम अ न्यूरो ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट एंड अ रेडिएशन ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट एंड टुडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ब्रेन ट्यूमर्स और मोर जनरल जनरलाइज द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम ट्यूमर्स सो सी एन एस ट्यूमर्स इंक्लूड ब्रेन ट्यूमर्स एंड लेस कॉमनली इवन द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड ट्यूमर्स टेकन टूगेदर द इंसिडेंस ऑफ सी एन एस ट्यूमर्स इज बिटवीन फाइव टू टेन केसेज पर वन लैक पॉपुलेशन इन इंडिया Uh, it requires a dedicated team as well as a specialized care uh, for dealing with such type of tumors uh, there are uh, a different set of tumors which are common in the pediatric population and a different set of tumors in adults so pediatric tumors are more likely to arise from the uh, stem cell like cells or the blastomas as we call them uh, with medulloblastoma being the uh, most common pediatric brain tumor gliomas or the more uh, tumors from the uh, support cells are the more common uh, tumor uh, tumors of the adults uh, today we'll be restricting our discussion to gliomas so this includes glioblastoma which is the most aggressive form of glioma which is grade 4 so gliomas typically present uh, with headache nausea vomiting as general symptoms along with uh focal symptoms depending upon the location of the tumor inside the brain so they may also cause paralysis loss of uh, vision loss of uh, speech and language disturbances uh typical evaluation includes an mri and it is highly recommended that a multi parametric mri including spectroscopy and perfusion values along with diffusion scans are also uh, included so as to uh, characterize the uh, tumor properly so typically after stabilizing uh, the patient we usually uh, recommend a surgery first in such cases in which uh, the neurosurgeon tries to remove most of the tumor as much as possible uh, while preserving the uh, rest of the neur- uh, neurological function so we call it as maximal safe resection and uh, once the tumor is removed it is subjected to pathological testing and uh, based on the surgical pathology report we sometimes require certain additional uh, tests like molecular analysis mgmt testing idh mutations and all and based on that we arrive at a composite diagnosis of the tumor type the tumor grade as well as the molecular signature so this is as per the recommendation by the who with the which is revised in the 2021 classification so once we ascertain the grade and the complete diagnosis of the tumor these tumors may uh, and also we need to evaluate uh, uh, the extent of resection on an mri after the surgery so uh, once all these uh, uh, tests are done and the extent is ascertained on the mri Uh, these tumors may sometimes require further treatment so typically the high grade tumors uh, as well as partially resected tumors re- require uh, further uh, treatment with radiation as well as chemotherapy for low grade tumors it depends mainly on the extent of resection as well as certain radiological parameters which need to be correlated and sometimes we may also need to treat these low grade tumors also so for high grade tumors when we uh, uh, usually we typically treat them with radiation with highly conformal techniques wherein we treat the area where the tumor had arrived along with certain margins and we need to uh, reduce the doses to the other areas of the brain wherein we uh, have other neurological functions so as to uh, pr- uh, preserve the rest of the uh, neurological function including uh, cognitive function like memory uh, and etc and uh, typically these treatments uh, go over 6 6 and 1/2 weeks uh, at 1.8 to 2 gray per fraction uh, for around 59 to 60 gray uh, equivalent doses and typically they are potentiated with uh, concurrent administration of chemotherapy usually in the form of some tablets and these tablets are also then given in the adjuvant setting that is after completion of this radiation therapy for a few months depending upon the response as well as the molecular tests so with advanced molecular uh, techniques we are able to characterize into uh, favorable tumors and certain not so favorable tumors and depending upon mgmt status and response evaluation on mri 
we may go on with these tablets to almost up to a year. Typically, it is uh, uh, recommended that a multi-parametric MRI is done for response evaluation because there is a, a concern of uh, progression of tumor uh, or a versus a scenario called as pseudo progression wherein the tumor actually may not be uh, viable inside the body but the sizes may increase on an MRI. So your neuro oncologist along with the neuro radiologist is, uh, are a better person to evaluate these scenarios and uh, guide you accordingly. At Manipal Hospital, Banir, Pune, we have uh, one of the state-of-art uh, facilities with a dedicated uh, team in comprising of uh, neurosurgeons, uh, neurologists, uh, uh, clinical oncologists, as well as medical oncologists. So this is how we deal uh, with uh, neuro-oncology uh, tumors and uh, we have the most modern technology to deliver the best of the treatments. Thank you.